So this unboxing is long overdue. My order from Bass Pro Shops actually came in three separate boxes and the last box took forever to get to my house. And it finally arrived and I had to do an unboxing to show you guys what I got and that's not all. I'm also going to be announcing the winner of the giveaway of actually this lure right here. This is a limited edition Mega Bass lure if it would focus. This bait is a Mega Bass Vision 110. This is the junior size, and this is a limited edition color. This is called GG Midnight Bone, and it's kind of a play off of their GG Deadly Black Shad, but they kind of added like that kind of white bone color on the side, and then that orange belly. Actually, this color is like a perfect Halloween bait black and orange perfect timing and I've already picked the winner but I'm gonna be announcing it at the end of the video so if you guys entered the giveaway just stay tuned to the end of the video to figure out if you won or not if I do end up picking you there's no like message system on YouTube so you're gonna have to hit me up on Instagram or my Gmail now getting into the Bass Pro unboxing as you guys can tell I ordered quite a bit of stuff from Bass Pro Shops. And like all my unboxing videos, I'm gonna go through everything. I'm not gonna skip anything. So this video might be a little bit longer. After the Bass Pro Shops unboxing, I actually went to Dick's Sporting Goods and picked up a couple things. So I'm gonna be showing you guys what I picked up from there as well. But let's just get right into it. And starting off with the biggest lure I picked up, I'm gonna be using this for bluegill. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Obviously, this is like for pike, but it's just a giant crankbait from Tyrant. This just looks to be about a 10 inch bait, and the color is Sucker. But that was the only pike lure I bought, so I'll just get that one out of the way right away. Moving right along to some of the baits I'm most excited to throw this fall. I mean, I'm gonna be fishing until there's ice on the water, and then I'm gonna be ice fishing, but I picked up two Mega Bass Mag Drafts. Both of these are six ounces, and they both weigh an ounce and a quarter. This color here is called B. Waco Shad. It's just kind of a clear color with some glitter on the bottom with that pink line that goes across, but I bought this to mainly imitate some trout on some trout stocked lakes I know of. And this color I'm especially excited to throw. This one is called Perch. And this bait is pretty clear, as you guys can tell. You can see right through the bait, which I think is going to be perfect for the clear water because some of the clear water lakes I fish are just loaded with yellow perch. Sometimes I can go over a school of yellow perch and see like a hundred of just small little five, six inch yellow perch. So I think the small mouth and some large mouth will have no issue crushing this bait. And these also weren't terribly expensive either. I believe these were $14.99. I know that might seem a little bit expensive, but when it comes to Mega Bass, $14.99 really isn't that bad, especially when I'm spending $25 per jerk bait. Now sticking with that Mega Bass theme, I picked up some Spark Shads. This package here are the five inch Spark Shads, and this color is called USA Baby Bass. And I just love these swim baits. I think they're super cool. They come with eyeballs as well. And then I also picked up two packages of the three inch spark shads. This color here is actually one of my favorite colors, lemon shad. It's just kind of like a chartreuse yellow little swim bait. Perfect for a little bit stained water. You guys are familiar with the Kitek colors. Um, this royal gill color is just bluegill flash. It's like a dark gray on top with a clear white belly and then blue fleck. Still sticking with that Mega Bass theme, this bait here might be a little bit too late in the season. I'm still keeping a little bit of hope. I am going to still use this this year, but this is a Mega Bass Jamaica Boa. It's their version of the buzz bait. I just think the detail in this bait is super nice. Look at the detail in that head. It looks just like a boa, like a snake. I believe this color is some sort of bluegill color. It doesn't say on the package, but this is a half of an ounce spinner bait. 
specifically is because this advertises high response. And what I kind of mean by that is I used the Booyah buzz bait and when I casted that out, I almost kind of had to give it almost a head start and kind of jerk my rod a little bit and start reeling to get it on top of the surface. And I'm hoping with this buzz bait here, I mean, it costs twice as much. I'm hoping I don't have to do that. I'm hoping the second that it hits the top of the water, I can just start reeling normal and it works fine. Another thing too is I really like that thick gauge wire as well. I'm really not too worried about this wire breaking on a big fish. Moving on to the last Mega Bass bait I bought. One of my lights just went out. Alright, we improvised, little B. Yep, we improvised. Proud of me, good girl. You proud of me? All right, so moving on to the last Mega Bass lure I bought. This is a Mega Bass Sonic side, which is just a flat-sided crankbait. And I actually will take this bait out of the box because this bait isn't stapled in. A very obvious flat crankbait here. And what that flat side is gonna do is give this bait a very tight wobble. The crankbaits that have like that big kind of rounded build to them is really going to have a wide wobble like this. But since this bait has like that narrow lip in that narrow body, it's really going to have a tight wobble, almost like a lipless crankbait would. And this color is called Bahama Milk Pearl, I think. Yeah, Bahama Milk Pearl. And this bait is half of an ounce, so you can get away with easily throwing it on any bait casting gear. And this will dive two meters, so about six feet depending on what line you use. If you use 10 pound, you'll get it down to that six feet no problem. But if you're going to be using 20 pound, then it might only get down to about four feet. Now moving on from the Mega Bass lures, but still sticking with that crankbait theme. I picked up some Rapala OG crankbaits, I think they're called. I should probably look to see. No, these are the Rapala Slim 6 in the OG series. Which the OG series just means this, it's not made out of balsa, but it has basically balsa-like action. And just like the name Slim 6, it's going to dive 6 feet and this crankbait is slimmer than most crankbaits. Can tell just like the Mega Bass lure, this bait here is flat. So it is gonna have that tighter wobble to it. And with that balsa action, what that basically means is it's gonna be really buoyant. So say this is like a log and you're swimming your crankbait along, it's gonna hit that log and it's really gonna wanna deflect up and away from that log. Also not sure what hooks they use, but the hooks they put on this bait seem plenty strong enough. I don't think you're gonna have an issue where you're gonna have to switch them out. But the colors I picked up were dark brown crawdad on top. That's the brown one with the orange belly. And then the bottom one is called bossy chartreuse crawdad. Quite the mouthful. Now, if you guys have been following my channel recently, you guys know that I really like Maxent. So I picked up a bunch of Berkeley Maxent The Generals. And The Generals are just Berkeley's kind of Senko lure. But I picked up three different colors. I picked up Junebug, Green Pumpkin, and then the one I'm holding here is black. But I mean, you've guys seen a Senko before. But I'm not a really big believer in scent when it comes to largemouth. But when it comes to smallmouth, I really do believe that smallmouth will react differently to scent. And I picked up four packages. Two green pumpkin, one black, and one June bug. One color I think I'm going to try out more this year and next year is June bug. Uh, typically, I don't really like June bug like at all. I don't even use it. But I know that color works pretty well, so I definitely want to at least give it a chance. Sticking with that Max scent, I picked up more flatworms. And this color here is one of my favorite colors. It's called Gobi. It's green pumpkin with purple and gold fleck. And the flatworm has to be one of my favorite drop shot baits. 
It is 3.6 inches. Smallmouth just can't resist this thing. But there's just a little worm, not much to talk about. I'm sure you guys have heard of the flatworm before. Whoever wins this Mega Bass lure, if you want to, I'll throw in a package of flatworms for you. Just let me know when you give me your address. And sticking with that Senko kind of theme, I picked up some Zero or Z2 Senkos from Strike King. Now these are Strike King's Elastec lures. What I mean by Elastec is they're just super durable and super stretchy. And I picked up two colors in the Z2 worms, I guess you would call them. Z2 Senkos, what do they call them? I think just zero. But uh, this color is Purple Haze. And then I picked up two packages of watermelon. And these worms here are going to be sinking because they're loaded with salt. Really any bait that's loaded with salt is going to sink. And sticking with the Sanko theme. Now everybody knows a Gary Yamamoto Sanko. And I picked up this chartreuse color, not for what you might think, but this is what it looks like out of the package. I think the actual name is called chartreuse black green copper, which means just chartreuse with black, green, and copper flake to it. And I mean, you could just wacky rig this or weightless Texas rig it and it would work fine. Okay, I'll just give you guys an example of how I would use that chartreuse Sanko. So you see this jig? here just a normal little finesse jig with a trailer on the back of it now if I'm getting like bit and I'm just not hooking into any fish and they just seem to be biting it weird what I'm gonna do with this Sanko is typically I'll have scissors with me but I don't have scissors right now is I'll just rip off a tiny piece of the Sanko here I mean that's all like quite literally a tiny piece and I'm gonna feed this onto my jig just like that so there's that bright chartreuse color right there and like I said if I had scissors this would be a little bit easier but I don't have scissors with me and I'm actually gonna put the old trailer back onto the jig but what you want to do is just trim a little bit off of your old trailer to make up for putting a little bit of that chartreuse scent go on. And then you just want to feed your old trailer back on. And now your bait has like this bright color where the bass can kind of hone in on and if they're like missing your bait or for whatever reason they'll see this bright soft plastic and they can really hone in on the middle of your jig. So say maybe you're just having a bunch of little ones eat your tail or eat your claws off. If you put this on here, maybe instead of them targeting your claws, they'll target the middle of the jig and they'll get this whole jig in their mouth instead of just maybe the tail. And I know what I just explained was kind of like a niche use for this. So you don't have to use a Gary Yamamoto Chartreuse Sanko. You can use any brand Sanko. Now moving on to some Zoom Flukes. A fluke in my opinion is a great all year around bait. And I bought these in the Magnum size in two colors. This one is called White Ice. And then this package here is called Arkansas Shiner. Everybody knows what white ice looks like, but this Arkansas, Arkansas Shiner, <laughs> Arkansas Shiner looks great. Just like a perfect crappie, bluegill, bass, smallmouth imitation. Now moving on to one of my favorite topwater baits of all time, the Whopper Plopper. And this color is called Sooner. Not exactly sure why it's called that, but just has a chartreuse top, a very bright colored top water bait and this is the whopper plopper 90 they've actually come out with smaller sizes they actually have the whopper plopper 75 and then their newest the whopper the whopper plopper 60 and the 90 just stands for its length 90 millimeters which is about three and a half inches and this little bait here is half of an ounce 
So even though it's only three and a half inches, you'll have no problem throwing this on bait casting gear. Now moving on to terminal tackle, I picked up some mag swim bait hooks from Trocar. I've never had an issue with Trocar bending out. I actually really like Trocar. Plus they're on the relatively cheap side of hooks. Moving on to my favorite brand of hooks owner. These are size four mosquito hooks. I'm just gonna be using these for drop shots. And as you guys can tell, quite the tiny little hook, which is gonna be perfect for my little finesse baits on the drop shot. Now that is it for the Bass Pro Shops unbagging. And I went to Dick's a couple days ago and picked up a few things. And I quite literally mean a few things. There's four things right here. Starting off with the reel I bought. I picked up a Shimano Sienna 500. And this I bought for ice fishing. I actually sat on my old ice fishing reel and snapped the handle off of it. So I needed to buy another reel. Then I picked up some of my favorite little swim baits. These are the Kitek Easy Shiners in the four inch size. And on the bottom here, the color is Alewipe and the top color is Sexy Shad. Actually, I don't know how to count. I picked up five things, but I picked up some Kitek Fat Swing Impact. And this color is called Black Cherry, just a black and red color. And then the last thing I picked up from Dix was this Z-Man cross size chatterbait. And this color is called Chili Dog. And it's just green pumpkin with red on the bottom. That is it for the Bass Pro Shops unboxing and the Dix unbagging. This is kind of long overdue. I said I was gonna announce the winner like a week ago, but like I said, that last box from Bass Pro Shops took forever to arrive. And if you don't win this month, don't really worry about it. I do these every single month. I believe this color was the limited edition color for September. And I actually just ordered the limited edition colors for October. So they should be arriving at my house any day now. Then I'm going to be doing another giveaway with that limited edition color. If you guys don't know, Mega Bass comes out every month with a limited edition color in a limited amount of baits. And all the colors that are limited edition are super rare. Like some of the colors haven't been released in 20 years. And the winner of this month's giveaway is Sir Altitude and kind of cool thing about it is Sir Altitude has been supporting my channel now for a while. So it's kind of cool to actually see him win. And if you guys are curious how I picked the winner, it's just kind of random. If you win, you can win again. But if I notice you're winning like five or six times, then I'm just going to pick somebody else. Yep, Sir Altitude. If you hit me up on my Instagram at Nate Andersh or email me at NateAndersh93 at gmail.com email me your address or where wherever you want me to send this bait and I'll send this bait to you along with a package of flatworms if you want flatworms if you don't want flatworms just be like nah I don't want any flatworms this actually is the third limited edition bait I've given away the first one went to Kyle Welch and then Adam Butler and then now Sir Altitude the thing as well when I send this bait in the mail when I go to the post office I'm gonna be opening a PO box I'm gonna be leaving the PO box number at the bottom of my videos and that is it for today's unboxing and unbagging video and I'm actually kind of right in the middle of getting ready to go fishing this morning with videos every single week thank you guys so much for watching I really do appreciate it peace